Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's your friendly neighborhood Mesa back at it with some destiny. All right, guys, tis arms day. We're going to go through last week's packages. We'll go through next week's packages and all the weapon tests. If you didn't know, I just got back from Bungie Studios. I've been posting a bunch of Rise of Iron content. I got to play early thanks to Activision for flying me out there. And we had a QA question and answer with the developers afterwards. And it was confirmed to me that, yeah, Banshee's not going to have any new Foundry orders to uh, place every week. Now, before you're saying, well, hey, that was confirmed already by Game of not really guys Christopher Barrett's answer was a little vague he did mention that his weapons will drop to uh, well according to the current light level so if you keep ranking up your gunsmith he's gonna give you packages at a higher light level but he didn't really answer the whole thing about getting new foundry orders well he confirmed it with me definitely no uh, they did kind of give me the look on their face like they weren't happy to give me that answer they know people like arms day I know for me some of my favorite weapons for PvE and PvP have come from arms day Hopefully, in another update, they wouldn't confirm or deny anything. I'm guessing another update, uh, they'll refresh everything. Maybe we'll get lucky with Sparrow Racing or maybe Festival of the Lost when we get those. Maybe they'll update Banshee. Hint, hint, Bungie, if you actually watch this, which I don't think you do. If you do, please, we want new Foundry orders to place. Enough of my babble. Let's get into the bag it is. All right, so he brought the Zaranea D. Now, this one has pretty much the same rate of fire and impact as the Monte Carlo. However, he brought some Focus Fire ones. Now, this first one here has the SC Hollow Sight. That's one of my favorite sights when it comes to the Haka weapons. Last Resort, Focus Fire, Single Point Sling, Hand Loaded, and Rifle Barrel. Now, the next one he's got on the menu, it's got Spray and Play, and it's got Relentless Tracker. It's got the GB Iron Sight, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's definitely better than the GA Post Sight. I think it's called GA Post. Uh, Relentless Tracker, which I've been liking since I got it on my Trespasser. I've been using it a little bit in PvE. Uh, we got Spray and Play, we got Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, and Rifle Barrel. So you maximize your range on this thing. It does kick a little bit in terms of its stability, but anyway, let's move on to the last one. Another one with Focus Fire, and this one's got Relentless Tracker and the Hollow Sight. This one's not a bad roll either, but I end up going with the middle one. If you haven't figured out, I'm overdubbing this thing here. Yeah, I go for the middle one. Yeah, my microphone in Elgato was just not working with me today. I go with the middle one just because I like Relentless Tracker. I like Spray and Play, and I don't know. I'm not really feeling focused fire weapons lately. Let, let me know in the comment section, which ones do you guys choose? Okay, next up, he's got the Soros ARI-45. This one's got way more impact and a slower rate of fire compared to the Monte Carlo. He brought an Outlaw 1, Hit in Hand, and Glass Half Full. I end up going with the middle one. Perfect balance, appended magazine, single point sling, small bore, and glass half full. This one's got the 19, it's got the 28, and it's also got the 41. And I typically like the 28 because it just gives you a little bit more aim assist. You feel it stick more, especially on the pulse rifles. This one's got fitted stock, oil frame, snapshot, hand laid stock, and it also has hidden hands. So I go and try with this one, even though the range is not that great. Uh, it's got the 26, 37. I go with this one here. I just, you know what? Let me know what you guys think of auto rifles since patch 2.4.0. I really haven't gotten a chance to play that much. Not even uh, private matches because just I have so much footage to go through. High caliber rounds, casket mag, snapshot, small bore and outlaw yeah guys i'm still combing through all of my uh, footage from last week can't say what else i'm gonna post today but you might want to keep it locked in here in the afternoon <laughs> eastern standard time then he brought the Soros PDX-41, okay, and I'll tell you right now, not good rolls in it. The PDX-41, it's the big brother to the 45. The 45 is what we all love for PvP. 41 has a little bit more impact and a little slower rate of fire, but none of the perks are good in this thing. I would just hold on to this if you're waiting for it. I'm going to show you mine on my other character in a second here. I basically have the same version of this as my 45, and what do I mean by that? I mean by good stability, good range, and also full auto. For some reason, I love to have full auto on pulse rifles i wish the grasp of malak had full auto but i think that would probably make it too overpowered i know people say full autos for scrubs when it comes to pulse rifles but for me i like having pulse rifles uh with full auto so the ones he brought they had two of them had secret round and then one of them had partial refund so if you're looking for a better roll i'd hold on to this one so now here's my PDX-41 that I like. It's got full auto, it's got reinforced barrel, it's got hammer forge, it's all about range. However, I don't really use this thing in PvP. For the most part, I'm still using the PDX-45, but you guys out there, you beasts in PvP. Do you guys like the 41? It hits a little bit harder than the 45, but right now the 45 is my favorite. Now I did bring one with head seeker this week, but nothing with full auto and nothing with really max stability. High caliber rounds, feather mag, head seeker, reinforced barrel, and lightweight. Now this one's got the 26 sight on it. It's the 28. 28 is the one that I like because it just gives you a little bit more aim assist. Uh, in, in my opinion, the 28 takes up a little bit too much screen real estate, but you do feel that aim stick a little bit more. This one's got partial refunds, got hammer forged, appended magazine, a lightweight, and hand laid stock. 
Now this one's going to give you max stability, but the range, eh, not so good. Uh, I end up grabbing this one just to try out. But for the most part, I'm just using my, I just get these packages for you guys, okay? I already have my 45 that I like, but I end up picking that one. You might want to choose that middle one there. This one's got Zen Moment, High Caliber Rounds, Feather Mag. We got Single Point Sling, and we got Reinforced Barrel. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I would go with the middle one if I was you, if, or, unless you're waiting around for a full auto one. Alright, then he brought this sniper rifle, which I'm not going to try to pronounce. Guys, you know I butcher everything. And then when I do butcher it, you guys make fun of me in the comment section. Uh, I don't like, I don't know why, I don't like any of the sniper rifles, regardless of the perks uh, in arms. This one's a more faster firing rate, uh, lower impact sniper rifle. So I guess on this one, you'd want to go for more stability. I believe I end up picking the one with uh, unflinching in the middle. I don't know, I have to go through the footage. So this one's got the scout, we've got the raptor, unflinching. Come on, Gorilla Fighter, not Gorilla Fighters, I don't like that. Explosive Rounds, Armor Piercing Rounds, and Brace Frame. Now, in the last one, what do we got, Shawnee? We got, yeah, this is, you know what? I go for this one, I believe. Yeah, Counterbalance, Feeding Frenzy, and ATB Long Range. We got the ATD Raptor. I hate overdubbings. I like doing them live. High Caliber Round, Snapshot, and Brace Frame. I go with this one. Yeah, this is a faster firing one, so I would go with this one if I was you. Let me know in the comment section if you have a different opinion. And then I keep a DIS-43 on me at all times, just to see if he brings the God Roll, which is full auto, max stability. That's what I have on my 43, as well as my DIS-47. Uh, he didn't bring it this week. However, if you were around last week, when I was away at Bungie, and they did the update of 2.4.0, he did change his stock. Well, actually, I mean his rolls. And he did supposedly bring a DIS-43 with max stability and full auto. So hopefully you got it. If not, hold on to it. It's probably going to be a long time before he brings that type of roll again. Now, for next week's packages, nothing really stands out except for the second package, which is the Kumakatak HC4. I have two of mine. My favorite one has Luck in the Chamber and Outlaw and Reinforced Barrel. Can't live without that thing. I would definitely pick that thing up. Probably one of my favorite legendary hand cannons in the game. We got the Tamar D. It's another sniper rifle. We got the whatever. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Sniper rifle. And the Uzime RR4 sniper rifle for next week. Now, for the weapon test, the auto rifle, you got to use in a crucible, but you could do this in private matches. Remember, weapon tests do count in private matches. Uh, next up, you got to do precision kills. I always go to, we've woken the hive. I always have that checkpoint. The next two, you got to kill Vex targets. Just go to Venus on patrol. I personally like to go to the Citadel until those damn taken spawn in and ruin the fun. Then you got to kill high ranking targets. That just means ultra. So I go to the Cosmodrome, spawn in on patrol, break left, go down into the little room downstairs as soon as you spawn in. And there's going to be three hive major ultras. You can kill them and get it done really quickly. So that is it for the video, guys. I hate overdubbing these things. I much prefer to do these live, but my microphone was not cooperating with my Elgato. Anyway, keep it locked in here. Hashtag made it to the end. Uh, I always leave a little nugget of juicy information at the end. Uh, stick around later on around 1 p.m. Eastern. You do not want to miss the two videos I'm going to be putting up today and also tomorrow. Remember, I went to Bungie last week. Can't say what else I recorded, but you don't want to miss it. Drop a link in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Zet Twitter at Mace Sean. Check my stream. Usually on YouTube. That's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs>